In this video I'm going to show you the basic functionalities of the sliced data tab which is used to display data cubes or photo emission intensity as a function of usually a parallel momentum components kx, ky and a binding energy or kx, ky and, uh, and um, a time delay of a, of a time resolved experiment or something like this. Uh, so I can either load or create sliced data tab from by importing local from a local file in a HDF file uh, HDF5 format of experimental data. For instance, I'm choosing this example five, which is the M3 feature HPT CDA uh, on Silver 100, and I can scan so okay what is displayed here uh, the data cube has three axes kx ky and kinetic energy in this case by the way if you place your mouse button on the name of the tab then you get some meter information about the data which is all stored in this uh, hdf file format you get some information about the source of the data and uh, some experimental details and then information about the three axes so axis th th zero is the energy axis and the range is given here the units are given for also for axis one and for axis two and then i can uh, scan through for instance this the third uh, the, the first axis and the other two axes here are displayed um, so there are 60 energy slices here or i can switch to another uh, slice axis which is now kx so this is now a band map here so um, kinetic energy ky and i choose a certain kx for instance the, the gamma point here which you see in the middle or third option is also possible okay I can also change the color of course uh, as usual and by double clicking on the button I can also change the name of this tab I guess yes uh, before I explain you I, I think I'm gonna explain you these features of the crosshair and the interpolation uh, in a different video by the way this cross and interpolation features are also available and have the same functionality also on the orbital data tab here but I, as i said i will explain this later what i want to in, show you in this video is two more ways to uh, create such kind of uh, three-dimensional data cubes so this is used here to uh, load experimental data or also data from uh, simulations of molecules on surfaces but you can also use gas phase orbitals uh, to create such kind of data and the two options there is load sliced data from orbitals i will explain you in a second what this does so first of all we get here again uh, and um, a selection uh, window from the um, database of molecular orbitals for instance i'm choosing a pentacene and i want to load orbitals of pentacenes not one but say homo to the homo minus six from the energies these are the orbital energies in, in electron volts here and i want to load these orbitals and stack them together according to the energy giving us a certain orientation of the molecule say i want to have a tilt of the molecule of 20 degrees uh, also apply a polarization factor uh, apply a twofold symmetry have a photon energy of 35 ev a certain broadening this is important now the broadening energy broadening means that each of those orbitals is not broadened 
with a Gaussian progeny of 0.1 EV. And I wanted in my desired resolution in case basis 0.02 on the rank sprams. I can give a name to this and I call it 5A tilted yeah, because I tilted by 20 degrees and then I load the data. Now this will take a few seconds because now all those orbitals, seven all together, have to be downloaded from the internet and the cube files have to be downloaded, imported into KMAP and then stacked together. Now it's already finished. And so what I, what I see here is again a, a tater cube of photo emission intensity. I see here again a tooltip where I get the information what has been uh, chosen on the import uh, as a meta information, information on the three axes energy, binding energy, kx and ky. And I can scan here, for instance, through binding energy, and I see these different orbitals popping up, which is which I can see in a, in a better way if I go to a, a band map representation here, for instance. Yeah. Something like this. Yeah, this maybe here I see uh, this typical uh, um, intramolecular dispersion. Yeah. So this is a second way to create uh, such slice data tabs here. The third way is also from gas phase orbitals, but now again uh, loading one, now loading only one uh, gas phase orbital, but changing the, the photon energy as a third parameter. So uh, let me choose again, once again, pentacene say the pentacene uh, homo and now so only select one orbital here now and you can change here again give a name photon energy i can change this name later on as well i want to change the photon energy between 20 and 80 ev with a step of 1 ev and resolution in case space like uh, 0.02 then you can also as before I can change the orientation of the molecule if I like for simplicity I keep the, 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 uh, the, these settings here so I click on the load button now again one molecular orbital is downloaded from the database from the database which is already done now but now what is happening now there are momentum maps calculated for 20, 21, 22, 23, and so on, until 80 EV. So this will take a few seconds, um, because each map maybe takes a few seconds, or... Um, so we have to be a bit patient. Now I know it's done. And now we get the same kind of... Um, uh, information if I click here or place the mouse on this uh, tab I see it's now photon energies axis 0 which has a range from 20 to 80 V and we have uh, kx goes from minus 4.4 to plus 4.4 and the same for ky and I can now change uh, the photon energy for instance or I can uh, again switch say to kx and then choose a certain ky and then see how the intensity changes as a function of photon energy. Okay that's what I wanted to show you in this video.